Hey, what's going on YouTube? Triple Tapper here. Um, wanted to show you guys um, how to season a cast iron skillet. A um, little bit of a backstory on these. I remember um, my grandfather, I, I don't think he ever used anything else to, to, to cook in. Um, <laughs> he, he, he made, uh, you know, I mean, every single item that he cooked was in the cast iron skillet and one of one of the things I remember as a kid was that he would always make flapjacks which was his uh, term for pancakes in his uh, cast iron skillet and so I had the good fortune to pick one up today this is a uh, lodge uh, as you guys saw um, there I've heard really really good things about them um, they've they've been making them for I don't know I think 120 years now this says American made since 1896 so you know they've been around a very long time and it's kind of cool that 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 they are uh, American made um, you know looks like we could still make one or two things right here in the good old US of A so what you're gonna need are just a, just a couple of things you're gonna need some uh, aluminum foil, uh, vegetable oil. Um, I've heard that, I mean, you can use really any kind of cooking oil. I try to steer clear of olive oil. Um, I believe it's, uh, um, I can't think of the, the correct term, but it's like it's, it's, it's burn temperature, or uh, I think it's set point, or s something of that nature is, is, is a little bit lower. So um, vegetable oil works. And so since this, this skillet is, is brand new, going to remove all of this stuff. It has like that little sticky kind of gummy stuff. So make sure you get, get all of that off. Um, you know, there's no other stickers on uh, the, the skillet here. So what we're gonna do, first thing we're gonna do is we are actually going to wash this and then dry it really well. Um, generally, you don't have to worry about washing these, especially with soap and scrubbing them, just because, you know, as part of the seasoning process, um, you know, by scrubbing it and stuff like that, you can actually take off the, the seasoning. A lot of people will say, oh, you know, well, if you don't clean it, you know, the food sets in and, you know, it's going to be nasty. Well, these things uh, in in I think less than four minutes. So this thing is is cast iron. I mean this thing is heavy, solid iron. Um, this thing gets you know well above four hundred degrees, and um, you know I, I am a registered nurse, and while I you know wash my dishes, um, you know, and I know I'm very familiar with foodborne illnesses and things of that nature. You know, four hundred degrees. Um, is, is pretty effective at, at, at killing things. And it's not that you can't wash these with, with soap and water. You know, you just, you, you just gotta be, you just gotta be careful. Um, one, one little tip that I found to be useful is you can actually use some, some salt and just kind of scrub it with, with a little bit of salt. Um, what you just heard, um, was my oven. Uh, as you, if you look, I set it to 400 degrees. It recommends between 350 to 400. So I kind of went on, on a little bit on the higher end and it says, you know, you're, you're going to want to season this for, uh, at least an hour. I'll probably do, you know, somewhere between an hour to an hour and a half. So, um, real quick, just going to come over here to my sink and I'm just going to use, uh, you know, a mild brush. It's not you know, harshly abrasive. I'm gonna put a little bit of Dawn on it. Just a tiny, tiny bit of water and I'm just gonna wash it real well, inside and out. Nothing crazy, I don't have anything, like I said, you know, extremely uh, abrasive, you know, steel wool or anything crazy like that. So we're just kinda getting everything off and I'm gonna scrub it inside and out really really well scrub the handle and now I'm gonna rinse this bad boy off Oops. drop my towel in the sink don't want to do that I'll clean out my brush here kind of put it back and 
Here's my little handy dandy sprayer. So get all this soap out. So when you when you uh, let's see, that should be good enough. Because when you when you season it, you're actually going to uh, season it inside and out. I'm going to grab another little towel here um, and just get this thing really really dry. Um, both inside and out. You can see there's like a couple of like little imperfections, just a little divot in the iron there, but I guess that gives it character. I can probably assume that, that no one has one exactly like mine because I've got that little little divot there. And there's another one there. So all right, so this thing is uh, pretty well, pretty well dry. I don't see any wet spots or anything like that. Wipe off the handle real well. Okay, I'm gonna grab another dry towel, come back over here uh, by the oven, and I'm just gonna take just a tiny bit of uh, vegetable oil and just kind of get it in there. You you, you don't want to be extremely liberal um, because if you over oil these they will be they will be sticky and you you don't want that so I'm just coating it you know there's no uh, standing oil or anything it's not pooling and like I said we're gonna do uh, inside and out um, before I go any further, what the foil is for, you just want to tear off a sheet about, you know, yay big. And what you're going to do is put this, whew, that oven's hot. So put that kind of like so on that bottom rack there. And of course the skillet's going to go on top. This is going to be to catch any potential runoff or uh, dripping as it were. Let me grab my other towel here just to turn over. So this this side uh, is is coated pretty coated pretty well. You see it's got a nice sheen to it. And I'm just gonna wipe that down just a tiny bit more just so it looks more even. You can see, you know, nothing shot, you know, sticks out as oh that's you know appears you know wetter or anything like that. So now just gonna turn it over. And just put a little bit more oil on the top, or I'm sorry, on the, the bottom here. And you can use a paper towel if you want. You know, I just happen to have a bunch of these little white rags around. And then I'm doing, I'm doing the whole thing. And then now I'll go to a little bit, you know, drier side, get it all around. Again, there's nothing that's pooling. There's no spots that appear, you know, really, really wet. So now what we're going to do is put this bad boy in the oven, upside down, right above that tin foil. So if anything drips off, like I said, the tin foil will 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 catch it. It won't end up on your oven, which mine's a little dirty. Uh, I need to fire my housekeeper. Um, so like I said, we're going to, we're do it upside down and we're going to leave it in here for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to set a timer on my, if I can figure out how to do it. I know I've done it before. Okay. Timer. So we'll just say. I guess, well, I guess I, th I think I got to do it in minutes is what it is. So we'll do 75 minutes. Yeah, you got to be smarter than the microwave. So uh, we'll see you guys back in a little over an hour. Okay, guys, let's take a look. Uh, the hour and 15 minutes has gone by. 
I'm going to use a mitt because I know this thing is going to be hot as hell. I just kind of want to get a, a uh, kind of a nice little view of it. Yeah, that looks great. So, what I'm going to do is put it back and just let it uh, cool off in there. And tomorrow, we should have a nice perfectly seasoned skillet all right guys uh, it is the next morning let's go ahead and pull this pan out and take a look you'll see now I don't need the uh, the mittens or anything so look at that it's it's beautiful nice and seasoned it's not sticky at all um, I can't I'm excited to cook with it and uh, Maybe on that first video, what I'll do is, uh, or the first thing I cook with it, I'll make a video and just kind of, you know, show you guys how it works. But um, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Like I said, not sticky at all. Nice sheen to it. And uh, this thing should, you know, outlive me. So, um, you know, if you guys uh, are thinking about picking one up, um, I don't know if I mentioned the price. I got this at Williams-Sonoma. Um, I think it was it was mismarked. I think they actually go for thirty dollars. It was marked for twenty five, and then they had a sale, so I got twenty percent off of that. So I got this pan brand new for twenty bucks yesterday. Uh, so um, you know, go ahead and check that out. Until next time, triple tapper out.